Hey, it's Edge here. Today we're taking a look at our technical analysis for S&P 500. I'll cover wave analysis with the latest wave theory and provide multiple scenarios the price may take. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Here on a higher time frame, let's start with the 30 minutes. We've had this trend line here on RSI's RSI uh, drawn for quite a while um, and now finally has broken. Um, yeah, not much to say. It has broken now. We did get a dump in price as well. Uh, as you see from here, two and a half percent, basically. But let's focus more on the structure here. We had uh, a thought that we had a, a, B, and C here to complete a higher degree wave four, a four of minute. And at that point, we would be looking for wave five of minute to complete an A wave or something else. Um, with this kept in mind, let's take a look at this last leg. Uh, I've labeled this as a 1, 2 here, um, another 1, 2, 1, 2. Now we start unraveling this nesting pattern here as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 3rd of micro, 4th of micro, 5th of micro, completing a 3rd of subminuit. At this point again we would be looking for the wave 4 of subminuit, in which I have labeled this as a WX1. Let's take a closer look at that. Um, we had the FOMC meeting right around here where you can see loads of volatility. Um, you can see that happening here. Now I think if we are really zooming in, we can see that we might have some kind of a three-way move here. I'm thinking a zigzag. Even before that we have another zigzag. So again, we could be having some kind of structure like this and then another three way up here and to link this structure here we would just have this. Of course uh, time wise that does not make any sense <laughs> but um, that is something that I have to be placing down here at the moment as a count. I can't see other five way moves here or anything like that so that's why I'm thinking like this. Again this WXY would complete the higher degree sub minuet 4 and we had one target here at 2.236 retracements around 3,832. Um, that was the first target. So second and main target was already up here. I did not take any shorts here. I took my shorts on other assets uh, this morning here, um, crypto mainly, as I had a couple of alerts there set as well. Um, but yeah, main target was already all, all the way up here at the previous wave 4 uh, where we would have found some kind of a support in volume or resistance as in volume. But we did pivot indeed here in the middle of nowhere uh, which was a bit un unexpected here. Already yesterday just after the FOMC meeting. But that sometimes happens. Um, so after that FOMC meeting we had a possible wave 1, 2 in micro, another one, two in sub micro, three, four, and currently most likely making the fifth of micro or sub micro, sorry, to complete the third here of micro. Now, overall targets we have this 2.618 extent or extension of the one to two waves here of the pivots one, two, looking for the third wave. Um, this 2.618 is very common and should be around. 3684. Now we have a target for the wave 5 of sub micro here around the $3,690. So we are off by a few, few um, dollars here. But again, the minimum target basically for this structure has already established here at $3,706. Um, so we don't really need to be going down anymore. Of course, this structure here that we are forming at the moment could be the wave four or wave three of, of the fifth wave here. Okay, so, so a sub structure again. So around anything around these areas is where I would be looking for a pivot. Now, where are we pivoting again? Well, we're looking for the wave four. Currently, if we are closing or ending the wave five here of this sub micro of the third of micro we would be looking at uh, these prices here at $3,750 
Also, we have this minimum target here at 37.27, um, which is at the 23.6 retracement of this of this whole move. Now, there is also confluence for that, as we have the previous wave four here around that same area. Now, this structure here is super small, but we had a massive extension here on the third wave. Uh, let's take a look if we can even measure it properly. Wave C. So yeah, we basically had <laughs> the uh, maximum we could have over, uh, at least usually, a 4.236 extension um, for the third wave. So yeah, it is massive, this third wave here. Um, so yeah, that's basically the targets for wave four. And then we would be looking for one more low for this count or for this structure of micro to complete the fifth of sub minuet here to complete the third of minuet. Only at this point, we have created this one, two, and then this third wave here. Now on this one, we have already extended this, uh, <laughs> targets basically for the way three um, of uh, of this minuet count so much that we're not even getting it in here scale. Let's take a look. Maybe the five point six one eight. Maybe possibly. Let's just leave that on. Just a guess for now. But again, something around there would be the uh, correct correct area to look for at least for me. But again, this will be more um, or taking a more closer look at when we have pivoted actually from the wave four. But the targets are again somewhere down here. But that is pretty much everything I wanted to share for S and P five hundred today. If you have uh, other accounts you would like to share, there's a link to my Discord server in the description below. Also, if you would like me to update a certain other asset, let me know in the comments below. But for now, I thank you for watching and hopefully see you on the next video as well. Bye-bye.